Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to calculate depth and width of beam. So first of all, what is beam? Beam is a horizontal structure which is used to resist horizontal, vertical and shear load. That means beam is used to support the weight of floors, ceilings and roofs of a building and to transfer the load to a vertical load bearing element of the structure. So here I will show you how to calculate depth and width of the beam. So hope you understand what is beam. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. Also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. So let's get started. Now this is the column, this is another column and this is beam. This is the clear span or length of beam. This is depth of beam. So as for IS 456-2000. Span to effective depth of beam ratio is 20 for simply supported beam. For simply supported beam, span to effective depth of beam ratio is 20. Span to effective depth of beam ratio is 26 for continuous beam. And span to effective depth of beam ratio is 7 for cantilever beam. For simply supported beam, span to effective depth of beam ratio is 20 for continuous 26 and cantilever 7. So depth and width of simply supported beam for 7 meter span we will calculate first. So this length is 7 meter. So length of beam is 7 meter. 7 meter is so depth of beam is L by 20. L by 20 means beam ratio 20 for simply supported beam. Now L is 7 meter. So depth of beam L is 7 meter. 7 meter divided by 20. So we have to calculate depth of beam first. 7 length is 7 by 20. It is 0 0.35. So this is 0 0.35. Now width of beam is depth of beam divided by 1.5. So depth of beam we have calculated 0 0.35 divided by 1.5. This is 0 0.23 meter. So depth of beam is 0 0.35 meter and width of beam is 0 0.23 meter. So this is we have calculated simply supported beam for 7 meter span. Next depth and width of simply supported beam for 8 meter span. Now length of beam is 8 meter, depth of beam is L by 20 and L is 8 meter divided by 20, this is 0 0.4 meter. Now width of beam is depth of beam divided by 1.5, depth of beam we have calculated 0 0.4 divided by 1.5, so we are getting 0 0.26 meter. So this is for uh, 7 meter span. We have calculated depth of beam 0 0.35, width of beam 0 0.23. For 8 meter span, depth of beam 0 0.4 meter, width of beam 0 0.26 meter. This is simply supported beam. 7 meter span and 8 meter span, we have calculated depth and width of beam. So L by 20 depth of beam, Y20, 20, 20 span to effective depth of beam ratio is 20 for simply supported beam. So we have taken L by 20. This ratio is 20 for simply supported beam. So this is 0 0.23 meter width for 8 meter span. This is L by 20 same L is 8 by 20. This is 0 0.4 meter and width is depth of beam by 1.5. This is 0 0.26 meter. So next depth and width of simply supported beam for 6 meter span. So 6 meter span means length of beam is 6 meter. 
So depth of beam is L by 20. This is 20 for simply supported beam. So 6 L is 6 meter divided by 20 is 0 0.3 meter. Now width of beam is depth of beam divided by 1.5. So depth of beam uh, 0 0.3 we have calculated divided by 1.5. This is 0 0.2 meter. This is for 6 meter span. Simply supported beam. Next depth and width of continuous beam for 8 meter span. This is continuous beam. So span to effective depth of beam ratio is 26 for continuous beam. So length of beam is 8 meter. Now depth of beam is L by 26. Why 26? Because for continuous beam it's 26. Depth of beam ratio is 26. So depth of beam is L by 26. So L is 8 meter. Span is 8 meter. Divided by 26 is 0 0.3 meter. So width of beam is depth of beam by 1.5. So depth of beam is 0 0.3 divided by 1.5. It's coming 0 0.2 meter. So next depth and width of cantilever beam for 5 meter. This is cantilever beam. Cantilever beam span to effective depth of beam ratio is 7 for cantilever beam. So for span, uh, span is 5 meters, so length of beam is 5 meter. So depth of beam is L by 7. This is 7. So L is 5 meter, L by 7. This is 0 0.7 meter. Now width of beam is depth of beam divided by 1.5. So depth of beam we have calculated 0 0.7 meter divided by 1.5. We are getting 0 0.46 meter. So like this you can calculate any beams uh, width and depth so this is cantilever beam 5 meter span so depth we have calculated 0 0.7 meter and width 0 0.46 meter now depth and width here for simply supported beam 6 meter span depth we have calculated l by 20 0 0.3 meter and 0 0.2 meter width for 8 meter span we have calculated uh, for 8 meter at depth 0 0.3 width 0 0.2 meter and simply supported beam 7 meter span this is depth of beam 0 0.235 and width of beam 0 0.23 this is 8 meter span simply supported 0 0.4 meter depth width 0 0.26 meter so we have calculated simply supported beam continuous beam and cantilever beams depth and width of beam so i hope you can calculate any beam depth and width uh, in this uh, manner so mostly in residential buildings depth is taken as 300 mm to 350 mm and width is taken as 200 mm to 250 mm this is as for thumb rule so hope you like this video and if you 